You know, religion is all around us, even among those of us who may not have a faith. We're bombarded with the power of religion every time we open a newspaper, every time we look at a headline. Um, and uh, sadly, it's the, it's the destructive uh, power uh, of religion that uh, is so much in our, in our world. And it just seemed to me uh, that as journalists, as documentarians, we, we're, we're uh, looking very understandably and with good reason at the social and political aspects of religion. And I thought it would be an opportunity here to cut at a familiar topic and come at it in a different way, experientially, rather than uh, looking at its impacts. Yes, you know, I'm not myself uh, a religious person. I don't have a faith, and I think that uh, uh, I think that that actually was an asset in making this film. Because if you think about it, I'm jumping from faith to faith. It, it's a, it's really an exercise in comparative, uh, in in making associations between different faiths. And if I was deeply committed to one of them, I think that would have maybe made my job harder uh, uh, within the filmmaking. That said. Um, Although my parents were not religious, I actually became deeply, deeply religious as a as a child around 10, 11, and that continued for three or four years. And it was a really intense kind of fire uh, that burnt within me that I that I that I never forgot. And I have actually very positive memories of that passion that I had. Uh, I'm not one of the people who looks down on faith. I'm not one of the people who who dismisses it. Um, so I think I have a kind of emotional comfort with an attachment to religion, even though I myself don't have an active faith. I don't think there's ever been a film made quite this way. Um, the, 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 the part of the mandate, when I was hired, uh, I was told, we want to do this film in a fresh way, in a non-traditional way. The traditional way is you're doing a global film, you load all your gear up into a plane, you fly all over the world, um, you parachute into a country, you don't really speak the language, there's a lot you don't know about that country, uh, you hire local people and you start shooting. And th that strikes me as kind of antiquated and really kind of crude. And so the question that I put myself to myself was, is it possible to make a big global film, sweeping and intimate and and with spectacle and all the things you'd want in a global film without ever leaving my chair in New York? And that was kind of a fun challenge, an interesting challenge. Could I do it? And, and the answer I hope is yes. And it was done through intimate collaborations with local filmmakers all over the world, more than 40 filmmakers in fact. Right, and yet at the end, uh, how did I direct is the question. And at the end, I had to ask myself, is it really fair for me to say this is a Thomas Lennon film, I directed this film? And I thought about it and I thought unequivocally, yes. The, the powers of the internet are so extraordinary now. You, you, so I was, once, once uh, first I spent months kind of mapping out the film without hiring any filmmakers, just with the help of a researcher pulling in a lot of imagery and um, uh, and and sort of moving it around a board and kind of developing a, a crude storyboard for what the whole film would be. Then and only then did we start reaching out to filmmakers, looking for filmmakers, going on the web and saying, can we find a filmmaker in Myanmar? Can we find a filmmaker in Madagascar? And uh, and getting in touch with the, those folks and starting to explain what it was we were doing. And then through the, through the power of the internet, just sending audio files back and forth, sending video files, not the, not the files that we shot, but just sketch stuff. You know, could, what about this person? Could we profile that person? Here's a translation of this thing. Here's what their voice sounds like. And then starting to shape scenes. And I did this with filmmakers who I knew I was never gonna meet. And in some cases, never even talk to, just exchange uh, emails, uh, extraordinary, um, and yet, a really intense and intimate collaboration. I think we all think we know what we feel about religion, whether that's positive or negative. I think we're pretty set in our ways, in our thinking. And 
Um, this film is not a scholarly enterprise. It's not an analytical enterprise. It's not an intellectual enterprise. It's, it's really a, a, a chance to plunge the viewer very intimately into regular people at moments of crisis or need and how they make use of faith. And the hope is that through the sheer intensity of that encounter and the sheer sort of cumulative power of that encounter, um, that it shakes our thinking free uh, and that we think about uh, uh, faith and the practices of faith in a, in a, in a, in a slightly fresh way. I, I, the, the, the goal is to push the viewer into an experience and then force them to think their way out of it. Um, I, hope, I hope we're successful in that.